All right, well, the plan today was to uh, do a guide for Godfall uh, regarding how I changed the controls to make them less bad. But they pushed out a 25 gig update that only fixed bugs. Uh, they did say that they are compiling all the feedback on uh, Reddit, which is kind of weird because like their forums are on read only and the Discord, you can't talk at it. So. Don't ask me why uh, they're compiling feedback, and then the two main places where people want to leave it, you can't. And then on top of that, <laughs> the Epic Game Store uh, has no forums at all. It's one of the many bad things about that platform. So uh, today I thought I'd talk a little bit about uh, Sakuna's mechanics. Also, I want to make a little quick announcement here. Uh, I got charged for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Uh, that's what most of what the, the donated money went towards. Uh, I've still got some money saved up in there. It's possible I might be able to get like a small upgrade for the channel uh, on Black Friday from like Newegg or Best Buy or something. But yeah, the uh, PS5 is not happening for a number of reasons. The uh, first is that uh, I didn't raise enough and I didn't have enough money on hand to pay for them in full. Uh, I did have a chance to get one, but uh, they didn't accept the, the quad payment installments. So I was not able to afford it. But I got this, so uh, I'll be playing this in about five days. Also, I got a bunch of uh, port reviews to get out. I've got one for Wonder Blade. I need to play this more. A um, couple other games in here as well. But some of them are games I'm not good at, so <laughs> that complicates things, obviously. You know, with like Fight and Rage and stuff, you know, it took me like an hour to get those ports out. But with these games I'm not familiar with, I don't have tons of experience with, it's, it's obviously a lot harder. So this game actually has a full training mode, so I'm going to go in here and show you guys some of the mechanics. Go here and you can spawn pretty much anybody. So you have a third strike parry in this game. Pretty much exactly like that mechanic. Push forward at the right time. No way! Look again! You won't get away! Look again! So you can also do it while attacking. stuff. Uh, also, we have a dash in this game, but the dash is, uh, there's no button for it, which is kind of odd because there's actually quite a few free buttons on the controller. Uh, you do have dual uh, analog and d-pad control in this game, which I think is nice because the part, the only parts of this game that are 3D movement is the farming. Obviously in the farming you don't need precision inputs or, <laughs> or rock solid frame rate or anything, so it's nice that they have that. But you'll have to get used to uh, just canceling the dash. There's also some OTGs with the raiment as well. Do stuff like this. So while their purple will actually remain in hit stun. Over here. So your dash is kind of janky. It has a lot of recovery. So you can't use it to... You can use it to pass through enemies, but a lot of the, the fights in this game, uh, even the boss fights, have a lot of enemies on the screen at once. So you might want to do stuff like this. Get behind the enemies. One thing that's really important in this game to make it feel less janky is to... 
I'll turn this down. I don't know how much you guys can hear me. I got it lowered quite a bit. <laughs> it's still pretty loud. One thing that's really important in this game is pushing forward while you're attacking. Uh, there is one problem I really have with the the parry system in this game is it does not make you invincible. So uh, you'll come across a lot of situations where you'll, you'll get the read and you'll make a parry, but you'll get hit from the back. Uh, I guess they expect you to really parry in both directions, which I don't think most people will really be able to do. Uh, especially the flying enemies, the hitbox to parry the flying enemies. Some attacks in the game, they do feel pretty janky. Uh, biggest problem I have with this game is how hard it can be to attack in the opposite direction. Uh, sometimes you'll get stuck in the opposite direction, then you can't, like, backdash while still while facing that same direction. So if you do something like this, you'll be facing the right, the extra, the other direction, and you can't turn around that quickly. Uh, the battle system in this is, is pretty well thought out, uh, however, it's not really the kind of game you can play and, like, no damage stuff in, because you have to grind in this game. Uh, it is very much an action RPG. Uh, it's not like a straight beat em up or character action game. Obviously, with the farming, that should go without saying, but uh, the thing is, you will basically do one damage if you're not uh, at the proper level. So, uh, it, it does help to learn the combat system, but you can definitely brute force it. Uh, I, I do feel like it could use a little bit of fine tuning. Uh, I think making the parry invincible would be huge. Uh, reducing the recovery on the dash and making it so it's less likely that you'll attack in the wrong direction. You cannot direction change in mid combo in, like in this like you could in like a 3D game or like any beat em up or something. You can't like turn around and hit somebody from the back. The closest thing you can do is maybe throw them the opposite direction with one of the, the Raymond abilities or try to dash behind them or use the Raymond to get on one side of all the enemies and try to deal with them that way. It does feel awkward. I feel like you're punished too much in this game for uh, starting an attack in the wrong direction. Like you can see I'm trying to attack in the other direction. She won't do it. I'm pretty much locked in that direction. I think this this game is decent. Uh, I, I don't like it as much as I thought. Uh, the farming is definitely really stressful. I think that's kind of what they were trying to, to come across, like how much work goes into agriculture and stuff. But from a gameplay standpoint, it, it does feel kind of awkward how uh, the rice farming is like everything in this game. If you don't build your character properly and you don't level up properly, then you'll be doing no damage. And uh, in this game, that can be a killer because crowd control in this game does feel a little bit janky. You definitely do have to kind of play it like a beat-em-up and try to keep everybody on one side, but that can be easier said than done when your dash has so much recovery and then if you try to attack in the opposite direction. There's a really long delay before you can do it. She won't turn around right away. It's nothing a couple of patches went fixed. It's not like the game is unplayable, but if you're expecting a super responsive, fluid experience, I think this game will be disappointing in some ways. Let's see if I can demonstrate how the, uh, the parry issue... I get between them, probably get catch a good example of it. You're not invincible during this at all, so a lot of times what happens if you're not playing properly, you will uh you'll get stuck like that. seems to be a limit of two OTGs, so if you're trying to maximize damage, you might want to try to find combos that use both of them. Good example is right there, like, if, if she would turn around faster, I could actually have continued that combo. Yeah, the turning speed is but feels really janky about this game. It kind of feels like a lot of those crappy European platformers that, uh, you know, the character does not turn around in one frame. It's not that she doesn't turn around in one frame, it's just that there's a lot of recovery on a lot of actions in this game, and it can be really hard to attack 
in the direction you like. Um, I don't know if I'll finish this game, honestly. It's, it's way longer than I thought, and, uh, I don't know. The, the combat just kind of rubs me the wrong way. I feel like they can make it a little bit more responsive, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you can pretty much just grind through things. If you if you make decent rice, you get far enough in the game to, uh, to make the farming aspects easier, then uh, you pretty much won't have many problems at all. Uh, white rice seems to be the best uh, rice to make because it increases your stats, and that's where all your moves and the majority of your uh, stats come from, so there's no reason to not want that. It doesn't seem like getting brown rice is ever worth it at all. Overall, at $40, if you can deal with the jank and all the boring farming stuff, I think this game is actually quite endearing. Uh, I, I like the characters in this game, especially coming from somebody who doesn't really play video games for the story. I, th I think the characters are really nice, but the game is kind of a slog. It, it definitely feels like it's a little bit too long. And uh, I don't long for the combat as much as I like because of the, the issues I just mentioned in this video. They definitely do hold the game back, I'm not going to lie. Uh, some other people have been talking about it as well. I wouldn't be surprised if they push out a patch for this. It, it seems like it's actually doing quite well. I know that it sold more copies on Switch than any other platform. Obviously, Switch, Switch gamers are more accepting of games like this that don't have like the most high-end graphics or anything. <laughs> um, biggest thing with this game that makes it look rough on the Switch version is the shadows are not that great, but uh, that was a compromise they had to make to get the game to run at 60 FPS the majority of the time, which, uh, despite how unresponsive the character can be in some cases, uh, it's, it's definitely welcome. I mean, there are a lot of really bad ports on the Switch that should run at 60 FPS but don't, and this does. Uh, to be fair, you can cancel into your ra raiment from anything. You can do stuff like that and get behind them, but if you want to just immediately turn around and do an attack, it's really awkward. You have to wait, like, for the full animation. See how fast I can do it here. Anyway, that's it. I just thought I'd go over some of the mechanics. Uh, I actually haven't been playing this on stream, not because I hate the game, it's just that... Uh, I think the Switch is probably the ideal platform for this, honestly, because uh, it definitely lends itself well to a portable setting. You know, you can do the farming in a few minutes, you, know, you can knock out a few levels on your lunch break or your commute or whatever, and uh, you can make some pretty meaningful progress. And, and, you know, I can tell it wasn't really designed uh, to be a portable game, but just that the way that the game's uh, mechanics and systems work in conjunction with each other means that it actually does... <laughs> Uh, fit a portable setting more than some other Switch games, which are just straight console ports, and they aren't really designed to be played in short bursts. Uh, so that's kind of one of the things that was really nice about uh, the Diablo 3 port on here as well. You know, you could do a rift in like 5-10 minutes on a lunch break or on the bus or the train or something and, and make meaningful progress. This game is very much like that. Uh, I don't know if something's wrong with my Switch. I think my Switch is getting on in years. It might have some kind of heating or, or dust issue or something. I have noticed some performance issues, but uh, other people have not mentioned them, but it's it's not really that big a deal in this game. Uh, it definitely does feel a little unfair when you get sandwiched by enemies, but you can always try to get them over to one side and do stuff like this. The, the raiment cancel does make you invincible, so it seems like they intend you to use that more than the dash, but the problem is the dash is your main way to cancel without getting in this long animation and losing a lot of your uh, your advantage on the enemy in terms of their distance. <laughs> so, it doesn't feel as good as it should, but you can do stuff like this, get behind them, and then uh, you use frontal smash or frontal smash. So nothing really combos off frontal smash but your payment. This move in particular is really good because it, it will stagger most enemies pretty much instantly and uh, this game does have a really satisfying like knockback system. Like if I spawn if I spawn another couple enemies here, you'll be able to see exactly how that works. You do 
stuff like that. So on bosses, uh, bosses definitely come with a lot of additional mooks. So you want to do stuff like this and maybe try to get behind them so that you can do it again. That's definitely a really uh, useful technique in this game. Anyway, that's it. I basically have explained most of the battle system mechanics. Uh, I think I'm about halfway through the game, roughly. Uh, it's definitely RPG length. I think people are saying it's 20 to 30 hours, so kind of on the shorter length side for the JRPG, but uh, it can definitely get a little tiresome sometimes uh, having to keep going back to town to eat. Uh, at night, the enemies, their stats like double, so uh, one thing that's really obnoxious is when you get really far into a level and you explore and you actually complete all the exploration objectives and you find all the secrets and stuff and then it turns nightfall and uh, you have to go back to town and go through the whole thing again. Uh, they definitely reinforce wanting you to grind in this game. If you don't grind, you're not going to get far. Uh, I do have the rice farming setting on easy. Uh, this game does have pretty interesting difficulty. I think a lot of games could, uh, could learn from the way this game does difficulty. Obviously this game has two very different components to its gameplay. You know, it has pretty decent, but also moderately janky <laughs> combat, and it has really in-depth uh, farming, and uh, most people don't like both. You know, people who like Animal Crossing don't really like hardcore action games, and people like me that pretty much only play hardcore action games don't like farming, so it's cool that you can change things around. Uh, if you want the farming to be more difficult, you can. Uh, if you want to turn the combat down and you want it to be more of a farming focused game and just get through it to get through the story, uh, I mean the characters are actually pretty endearing, the story's pretty decent if basic, uh, you can do that and I think that's really cool. Uh, a lot of games could use <laughs> that kind of mechanic, honestly. Games that try to do uh, more than one genre in one game, uh, they can definitely be kind of messy uh, because if you don't like the mini game or the gimmicks and stuff, you're stuck with them here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what this affects. Uh, I looked all over the place before I bought this game. Uh, I could not find anything, so I don't know what it affects. I think it just makes the consequences of uh, farming and not doing the best job. I think it just makes them a little less strict, but uh, no one knows for sure. I mean, this game doesn't come with a manual or anything. Uh, the developers have not posted anything, but I put it on low, and uh, you really only spend a couple minutes every couple uh, battle levels doing this stuff, so it's not that bad. You definitely do have to do it a lot. Uh, there are progression elements for the farming as well, meaning you, know, you get things that make the farming easier, so uh, it's, it's kind of cool how it works because the character in the game is basically, she's like a spoiled goddess and she's never done any manual labor in her life, so at the beginning she sucks at it, but as you spend uh, a few harvesting years uh, in on this island, then she gets better, and uh, it kind of lightens the load of stress on the player as well. At the point I'm at right now, uh, I've gotten a lot of farming abilities just from actually doing it. You do have the option of skipping it. I don't know how much uh, that actually affects, but it generally seems like you want to do at least maybe the first half of the game or so. You want to do it manually because that way you'll get the farming skills and you can continue to do it from that, that point. Anyway, that's it. Thought I'd get this out. Uh, like I said, I've got a couple port reviews coming. I'm going to do one for this. Uh, and Hyrule Warriors is going to be launching on the 19th at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So uh, I don't know how long I'll be on that night, but the game is all good to go. So uh, I'll be checking that out. Uh, in the meantime, I will probably spend some time getting uh, Link and Impa to level 20. <laughs> I don't really like playing as Zelda, so I probably won't bother with her, but uh, Link and Impa get them to level 20. I, I know a lot of people have played this demo to death, and I didn't really see the point, because 20 years of playing Musou games has told me that stuff you get, the, it, get, stuff you get at the beginning gets power creeped really fast. But I think getting them to level 20 would make it a little more uh, smooth to get to the, the more fun part of the game. Generally, in Muso games, for me, the most fun is getting to the end game where you can actually make builds and you have your full move set, and there's fun things to grind for. It seems like this game's going to have some pretty decent gear and stuff, so uh, that'll be coming on the 19th. Uh, the next few days, uh, I'll probably put out a few Godfall guides, but Godfall seems like uh, 
they're compiling a lot of feedback. And I think the game is going to be a lot better if I just wait. So uh, I'll probably be working on this. I'll be doing some closers. I've got a couple outstanding uh, port reviews I need to do in here. And then we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Thanks to the people who donated as well. Uh, I'm sorry I was not able to get a PS5, but honestly, I really only raised like half of what we needed for it. So uh, it would have been tight financially. I don't think I really would have been able to manage it without asking friends for help. And a lot of them don't have jobs right now. So it's not really uh, not in the position to do that kind of thing. <laughs> um, most likely, maybe in January. Uh, I don't think there's going to be much going on in January from what we know, at least not for PC and Switch. So. Uh, I might make another attempt at this once the holiday rush dies down. I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching.